uh, city campus. And uh, I'm going to run you all through a quick presentation and then we'll also take you through a virtual tour of both of our campuses. Since we can't travel right now, we thought we might as well visit them virtually. So yeah, please let me know whenever you know we have enough uh, joinees and we can begin. I think we can get started. We have already 15 who have joined and I think we're five minutes past the hour. So that should be fine. Okay. All right. Then I'll um, uh, quickly share my screen. Please. Yeah. I hope this is visible for everyone. Yes, it's, that's great. Okay. Thank you. So thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Resha Mahuja and I'm the recruitment advisor for Sheffield Hallam University. Um, this is our entire India team. So um, we are headed by Ms. Hema Ramachandran, who's the regional advisor. That's her email address there. Uh, then that's myself. And uh, Mr. Somitro Banerjee is the superman behind all the applications that you send. So he's the guy behind assessing them and ensuring that you all get your offer letters Boy. on time. Uh, to, together, we use the email address india at shu.ac.uk. You could use that as well, or our email um, individual email addresses are there on the screens. So Sheffield Hallam University, as the name suggests, is located in the heart of the city of Sheffield in the UK. Uh, we were established in the year 1843 and were awarded the postmodern university status in the year 1992. We have more than 35,000 students approximately on our campus, and we are one of the largest and the most popular modern universities in the UK. Um, if we look at the map and let's see where we are located, you can see that we are very, very close to uh, Manchester and Leeds. So Manchester is, in fact, the closest international airport from Sheffield. Uh, Nottingham and Birmingham are also a little over an hour on a train journey away, while Manchester and Leeds are less than an hour on a train. London is about two hours on a train ride away from Sheffield. So we are very, very centrally located. And uh, as and when things normalize um, and, and you all are able to travel, if you have your valid visas, traveling to Europe is also very, very easy from Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield is, a, is home to over 60,000 students and is a very student-friendly, safe and affordable city to live in. Uh, it's one of the safest cities in the UK, which is time and again uh, introduced or announced by the UK government. Uh, you know, they do a lot of surveys and this is what they get always. We are in the top five safest cities. So these are uh, our campuses. We have invested over 80 million pounds in the last 10 years in teaching and learning facilities. Uh, so the first campus that we have is our city campus, which the, uh, it's the same campus for which you just saw the virtual tour video. Uh, it is located in the heart of the city center. The other campus that we have is our uh, greener leafy campus known as the Collegiate Campus, which is located in the southwest of the city. And this is about uh, a 10 minute ride from the city campus. Then we have our hubs, the Students' Union Building, and we have invested around five million pounds in the Student Union Building. These are some of our awards and accolades. So we were awarded the University of the Year for Teaching Quality by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2020. If we talk about our QS rating, we have a five-star QS rating in areas including teaching, employability, and innovation. And for the teaching excellence framework, we have the TEF silver uh, rating. So apart from, of course, all the other reasons that we just discussed, there are a few more things that may help you in choosing us. So we have a really, really high student satisfaction rate with our career support, which is over 95, about 95. 86% uh, overall student satisfaction rate. We have about 100 student-run societies. So when you're coming uh, to study with us, we would, we would really encourage you to keep pursuing your passions and your hobbies and your interests while you're there. Um, and yeah, we are very, very affordable as a city and even as a university. 
these are some of our facilities and we've invested over 100 million pounds in new facilities in the last 5 years so if you talk about our design studios cafes engineering labs uh, our library facilities our hubs building you will see that everything is very modern state of the art very well equipped uh, we also have an f1 workshop on our campus so that's really exciting for some of you f1 fans of course um there is a very important thing that i would want you to note out of this uh, uh you know presentation that we have so if you if you're planning to join us during both of our intakes which is september and january we organize a free pickup from manchester airport you will have to book for this well in advance so the dates etc are all published on our website and there's a short form that you need to fill so please if you're planning to join us uh, fill in that form and book your tickets accordingly and do avail this facility um as far as our global engagement standpoint is concerned we work very closely with about uh, 3500 businesses to develop courses and provide more than 24000 placements every year uh, some of the big names include microsoft nhs um uh, sony cisco tesco adidas nestle etc our entry requirements are very very simple if you're looking to study an undergraduate degree with us we would require at least a 70% in your grade 12 and if you want to do a postgraduate degree a masters degree with us we would want you to complete your three or four year bachelor degree whatever you're doing with uh, for most of the courses it's 55% or more but for some courses it is 60% or more uh we do require ilts for some courses so i i understand that the ilts centers uh, and the tests are not happening currently because of the pandemic so if you have an offer where ilts is a pending condition please uh, consider taking the toefl internet based the toefl special home edition test actually so which is a test that you can sit at home and write and uh, we accept it we do not accept ilts indicator duolingo or any other tests these are the only tests that we accept so we have over 700 courses with undergraduate postgraduate and phd options in all kinds of subject areas that you can think of from architecture to art and design to engineering and mathematics finance food and nutrition hospitality physiotherapy sports sport business etc so you name it and most likely we would have it these are some of our popular undergraduate courses so as you can see it's a wide variety of courses that we have and all of our undergraduate courses come with the sandwich year option as well so you can do a 3 year degree or a 4 year degree depending upon your interest uh these are some of our popular postgraduate courses um again uh, we have a global mba which is open to students who recently graduated and do not have any work experience uh specialist physiotherapy practice big data analytics construction project management our sport business management is very very highly ranked we have a lot of ma and mfa design courses in all kinds of subject areas that you can think of also very unique kind of subject areas like metal work as well which you will not really find at other universities we also have some courses where we offer an optional work experience route uh at the postgraduate uh, course stage so these are some of those courses where you can choose to do an optional year of placement some of our usp so as a business school we are an aacsb accredited business school which places us in the top 5% of business schools globally um our global mba is uh, of course an aacsb accredited mba and you also get to become a member of the cmi after you graduate as mentioned earlier our msc sport business management is extremely highly ranked this course is ranked second in the uk and sixth in europe and 17th in the world these are extremely high rankings and uh, the course comes with a 12 week long placement as well and we do have very very strong connections with some of the biggest teams and uh, sportswear companies that you can think of our physiotherapy practice program is one of the best in the uk and is extremely extremely sought after um as mentioned earlier our art and design courses uh, we we were actually the very first arts institute to ever be established in the uk our roots can be traced right back to the year 1843 when we were established 
This is a new course that uh, we have launched. It's called MSc Healthcare Analytics and Artificial Intelligence. We, we're also going to be launching a new course called MSc Artificial Intelligence for our upcoming intakes. This one only has a September start. So anybody who's planning to study something like this, it's open for applications for this September. Um, otherwise, uh, you can try for next September. Uh, our tuition fee for most of our postgraduate courses ranges between 14460 to 16605. Having said that, if you are an Indian offer holder for a postgraduate course, in your offer, there will be an automatic discount of 3000 pounds called the Vice Chancellor's Award. It's only for uh, students who have Indian passports and have been made an offer. For undergraduate courses, for most of them, our fee is 13,995 pounds per annum. Uh, these are some of the scholarships that we offer. The deadline for Transform Together and Great for September is gone. But if you are planning to apply for January, then you can still apply for Transform Together scholarship for the January intake. Vice Chancellor's Award I just discussed. Uh, it's an automatic discount that comes in your offer for Indian students at postgraduate level. There are quite a few places where you can work part-time in Sheffield if that is something which is on your mind. But... Uh, this is from a pre-pandemic perspective that I'm talking about. Of course, it will take some time for things to normalize and completely open up. So if you're planning to go immediately in the upcoming uh, September intake or so, I would say, I mean, plan your finances as if there is no part-time so that you don't struggle. But otherwise, it's a big developed city where you have plenty of part-time opportunities. Sheffield is uh, UK's leading destination for people seeking outdoor adventure. And uh, it is a very, very green city. Uh, one third of the city lies within the Peak District National Park. This is only about 20 minutes from our campus. These are some of the places that you can visit there in the Peak District. Our application process is very, very simple. You just have to connect with your combined company counselors and tell them about it and they will take you through the whole thing. And um, if you're sending your documents to them, please ensure that you're sending your documents um, nicely scanned and in a PDF format. And if you're applying for um, a design course, please include your uh, portfolio as well with the application. Any other queries that you may have, please feel free to give us a call or connect, um, connect with us on email at india.shu.ac.uk or you can send in your queries to us via your counselors. Now sit back, relax, and let's see how our campuses look like.
चल गया थैंक यू सो मच आई होप इट वॉज इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड नाउ आई बी हैप्पी टू टेक एनी क्वेश्चन right now thank you for that it is useful uh, concise presentation and let's just take the queries which have come in so far uh, we have ansari mohammed saying he's got uh, 75 and 62% in 10th and 12th is he eligible for which course ansari you mentioned which course you're interested in so i'm just going to put you on speaker perhaps you want to elaborate on that ansari mohammed for it computing data science bachelors in pharmacy so what is he asking uh, he's got 75 and 62% uh, in 10th and 12th is eligible for bachelors in pharmacy for for 21 intake we do have foundation courses as well um, 62 is a little bit too less uh, for our entry requirements for class 12 so right. yes i think we can go ahead and file an application for a foundation program okay okay so i'm just going to ask ask him in the chat uh, since he's not put it in the q and a uh, trust that answers your question i'm sorry mahesh you again for a query in the chat What documents do I need for MBA at Sheffield Hallam, and what document certificates do I need to apply for the business electives, Mahesh? Hi, Mahesh. Thank you for your question. Um, but before I could tell you what documents you require, I would like to know um, a little bit about your background. Um, what have you done in your undergrad, and how much did you score? Mahesh, if you want to unmute, you can give us a brief. or you can just type it in the chat box yeah that would be easier too um is not uh... hello hello yeah. i'm ahish yeah uh, please go uh, ahead and ask hi oh uh, actually i have a normal degree uh, in india so can i apply for uh, mba field in any mba field apply uh, our course is called global mba but i want to know what have you done in your undergrad what what undergraduate degree have you completed i have only 3 years of degree in a bachelor of science in, okay it's another And field it is, is there any related. major that you've studied in your bachelor of science um math physics okay math and, physics, and, yeah. and how much did you score uh, almost 70% then you're absolutely eligible to apply the documents that you would require would be your um, all of your academic documents till your um, undergraduate degree um and uh, two letters of recommendation one very strong statement of purpose that your counselor will help you with um and your passport okay so what about ielts and also gre gre gmat are not required and uh, how much did you score in your grade 12 english and which um, board was it more, more than 75% which board was it 75% is this, is this cbsc no 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 it's um not cbsc it is a state uh, a state board okay so for for certain state boards we have slightly different requirements what i would recommend is uh, file an application as soon as you can if there is a possibility of giving you an ielts waiver we will give it otherwise you can consider um doing uh, maybe the toefl special home edition test if at all needed okay yeah thank you yeah i i i will look forward to seeing your application very very soon um harshali our mba is available in our city campus okay thank you right behind me in my virtual background okay yeah <laughs> actually one of the student has applied and she was asking for this so this is in city campus and if if at all anybody wants to see where the courses will be run um if we give it very very clearly on our course pages also i mean for all of you students if you're confused about which campus would your course be in it's all mentioned on the website thank you okay thank you ashan mahesh please email your documents on the mentioned email id in the chat box so that um, they can help you with the further process yeah sure definitely yeah 
Do we have any more questions? Uh, Ranvi, you are muted. Oh, sorry, I'm muted. I was wanting to mute the mute Mahesh. All right. So let's move on to Pratiksha Pajari, 70% in class 12 Maharashtra. Can I apply for a bachelor's in management or related course? Pratiksha Pujari. Um, 74 and on, in 12th, you're saying? In class 12, she's put it in the, in the Q&A. Absolutely. Yes, Pratiksha, to... please go ahead and apply. Please. Uh, and we have we yes. have quite a few courses into our business management category at undergraduate level. Um, so there are a lot of specializations also that you can choose from. Pratiksha, you have any further query? Um, if you want, you can talk to us. Have you completed your grade 12, Pratiksha? If you've mentioned it, I'm assuming you maybe completed it last year. Yeah, she says I got 70% in class 12, so I presumably completed. Yes. Wouldn't have been this year because I guess. And, the uh, yeah, so if you, great. So oh, can you also tell me how much did you score in your grade 12 English? Yeah, you can put it in the chat, which is what you're putting, Pratiksha, if you don't want to come on line. <clears throat> Go ahead, Pratiksha. What? How much in English? 70 in English, you 17. mean? Yeah, probably. Then most likely you will also get uh, an ILTS waiver. Yeah, okay. please go ahead and file an application okay. um, and uh, try to file it via UCAS if possible. Uh, that will allow you, uh, you know, uh, the right to track the application well. And for undergraduate applications, we take slightly longer than postgraduate applications to reply. So the wait time could be anywhere from about six to eight weeks. So please don't delay filing the application. Right, Himani uh, Gulati. Pratiksha, was that your final question? I don't think you had anything further. Okay. Himani Gulati, MSc Management, Project Management, or MBA. Himani, you didn't... Uh, Give us your background. I'll try and look it up. Uh, you have not given your background. If you want to come online. <clears throat> Hi, Himani. Please unmute yourself and ask your questions. We are all very sweet and kind people. We won't say anything. Hi. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Hi Resham. Uh, uh, so I have a, I was looking for some master's course, which is like two years and I'm uh, looking for a January, 2020, 20, intake. Fabulous. So what's your background, Romani? What have you done? I have done BTEC in computer science and I have, uh, got 76 in my, uh, bachelor's degree. Okay. And now I want, I'm looking for, uh, Masters or MBA or a MS in uh, project management, management or uh, MBA or a general MBA, something. To, uh, when to did you complete? Oh, okay, uh, right. I, so when did you complete your degree? I completed in two thousand ten, and I'm working since then in IT company. Then why why aren't you looking at our September intake, which is um, closer than January? And you're, I mean, we're still accepting applications. You can still go ahead and apply. No, uh, actually, because of. Uh, because I can't fly this year. So I wanted to do in university itself. So I don't okay. want to do online classes and I don't know. I'm not looking for online classes actually. We're, we're so, not, hopefully we're not going to be doing online classes. It's going to no, be on no, campus, I, but it's okay. I, if, if you can't travel in September and you would want to start in January, that's absolutely fine. A couple of courses that I would recommend to you and I would like you to sit with your um, combined company counselor and maybe go through the course list is... Uh, uh, first, of course, our global MBA, since you're looking at something which is managerial and you have so many years of work experience. Another really interesting course that you can look at um, coming from, you know, a computer science background is our course called MSc IT Management. They are uh, both very interesting courses with a very well put together um, list of modules. So just go through them and uh, finalize on one and please file an application. Ma'am, uh, this uh, course is for two years, MS in IT management or for one year? So there are one year courses and both of them come with an optional work experience route. Okay, so I will get the two years, that is the co-op year? Uh, it's called the, yeah, it's called the optional placement year or the work experience route. It You, you get it as an option. Uh, so 
to make it clearer so basically it's not a guaranteed placement you have to look for a placement for yourself of course the university guides you and there's immense help for you to do that however the responsibility of finding the placement is going to be yours okay and what is the fees and is there any scholarship available scholarship for january you can also apply for transform together uh, you need to have an unconditional offer to apply for that so i mean uh, get your unconditional offer in time the deadline for transform together will be sometime in november uh, if you get that scholarship it's going to be a 50% discount on your tuition fee but apart from that if you get made an offer you will definitely get a 3000 3000 pounds vice chancellor's award uh so the fee structure for the mba is going to be roughly around 16600 pounds or so uh which will come down to 13600 something for january uh, after the discount and for it management it, it is going to be close to 14000 something so again that's going to come down by 3000 pounds for sure and ma'am what is the accommodation charges because i want to because we want some information about the accommodation because uh, so that we can estimate the living because uh, uh, so, in whatever yeah. college i'll be staying i'll yeah. be staying in college accommodation we can't risk staying outside we need to be accustomed to the country initially so himani there are plenty of accommodation options available and uh, they are various kinds of accommodation options so according to your preference your budget you can choose them uh, but an average cost of living in sheffield for a student per annum is around 7000 pounds or so uh, so 7000 7500 7, pounds is enough to survive in sheffield for a year if you're not working part time at all but uh, having said that um, uh, there could be shared accommodation options on suites studio so there are plenty of choices that you have and your budget may vary accordingly so i think you can explore some on our accommodation page on the website and then connect with your counselor and they will be able to explain that in detail to you and ma'am is transcripts mandatory for filing the application uh you should have your consolidated mark sheet for sure so yeah that's your transcript and uh, your degree certificate since you graduated about 11 years ago i think i time you apply for those and get them because you would require them uh, during yeah, this yeah. it will be okay required. sure thank you thank you himani yeah, so we encourage you to send your documents himani uh, perhaps that's best to initiate the application you can have a look and guide you sure. for the january intake thank you you're currently in bangalore uh yes sir so i'll just uh, try to arrange my my documents are actually in noida so i'm also stuck in bangalore so my hometown is not bangalore mm -hmm. so i work here in a company but everything is being work work from home right now i right. came because the office is open then they closed again and i'm here in bangalore only so that's why okay so you can send scanned documents uh, of your originals for the application that should suffice yeah yeah okay all right okay thank you um rahul says he would want us to unmute him yes prasham ma'am yeah mahesh um actually uh, yesterday i finished my pre cash interview um okay. so i didn't get any uh, reply from the university uh, give, us time, give us some time mahesh give us some time you only did it yesterday I right and previously i asked you some questions about my it is regarded for uh, one of my friend so it is not from uh, for me mm -hmm. so yeah and he, uh, he is uh, very much fascinating about, uh, fascinated about doing mas doing masters in business uh, in sheffield hallam university after i uh, after i told uh, the information about the university okay yeah um, So all of the questions the that you just asked were for him you mean Yeah Yeah okay um, I uh, think it will be best if you share his details with the combined company and yeah. uh, maybe Harshali will connect with him and if needed yeah. she will yeah, connect yeah, the no, student no, with me then I'll talk to your friend directly don't worry Yeah Yeah thank yeah, you I think yeah, we'll have your documents on hand and we can assist you also depending upon what your situation is Uh, rahul is waiting he has a query if i can find him 
राहुल या हेलो सर हाय राहुल गो अहेड या हेलो मैम हाउ आर यू हाय राहुल यू कैन कॉल मी रेशम आई एम वेरी वेल थैंक यू सो मच हाउ आर यू ओके हेलो रेशम या हाउ आर यू डूइंग या आई एम फाइन व्हाट अबाउट यू वेरी वेल प्लीज टेल मी हाउ कैन आई हेल्प यू या आई हैव अप्लाइड फॉर एमएससी इन एडवांस कंप्यूटर साइंस इन फॉर सितंबर 2021 इन टेक ओके यू मीन एडवांस्ड कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स नो कंप्यूटर साइंस Our course is called MSc Advanced Computer Networks. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, through our uh, my counselor is Laila, ma'am. She's from okay. Bangalore. Okay. Okay. I'm from Mysore. Okay. okay. So my query is, uh, what is the last date of submitting consolidated mass cut to due to pandemic? I applied in March first week. Okay. Our okay. sweet university, Karnataka. Right mm-hmm. now, Karnataka is in lockdown. So what is the last date of uh, uh, submitting consolidated mass cut? we've not finalized uh, on a last date as yet but we are we are i mean reviewing that currently as we speak so in maybe we about a week or so we should get the deadlines and once we have them we'll let you know but um, i think hopefully uh, things should ease out and uh, the lockdown slowly should get uplifted maybe in the coming few weeks um, mm-hmm. if you're able to get it by june and um, mid july i think we should be we should be sorted and what about ielts ielts exams also postponing due to lockdown pressure. yeah so please take the toefl special home edition test don't go on delaying your process because of waiting for ielts even when things open up you know we would not really want you all to step out of your house get yourself i mean um it's it's still going to be dangerous right we would not want you to uh, get infected so mm-hmm. please sit at home from the comfort of your home take the toefl special home edition test we do accept it toefl okay okay i'll speak with my counselor about it yes please do that okay okay reshan thank you very much yeah. take good luck there... rahul take care yeah thank, thank you thank you sir bye is take care is there deposit yeah thank you is there deposit reshan for this course uh sorry what or for the msc advanced computing is there deposit Yeah, for yeah. The there cash? is a deposit. There is a cash deposit okay. for all courses. It's three thousand pounds. Okay. All right, three thousand pounds. Okay. So maybe that's why he's asking to get the unconditional offer. Yeah. yeah. Ma'am, I had a question. Uh, like when we deposit, in case of any issue, we are not able to join the college, or in case of visa rejection, does the college refund our deposit? Yes, yes. So there is a flexible refund policy. Definitely, in case of your visa rejection, we would just require the documents, and you do get a refund. um and because of the pandemic and because of you know things um i mean universities being in lockdown every city state here being in lockdown uh, we have updated our refund policy and it's quite flexible now you can read more about it on the website to make yourself aware about what it is now sure ma'am thank you so there is a possibility of deferral as well himani let's say you pay for september but you're unable to make it for the september intake then whatever is the next available intake you can um defer and your deposit also remains safe for that next intake okay ma'am welcome thank you uh, samant patel have a query regarding msc food nutrition and he's asking for the tuition fee less the scholarship and uh, is there any fees for the second year placement okay so for all of you whoever is going to choose a placement year the fee for placement year is fixed it's going to be 1200 pounds okay uh samarth uh samarth in your case 15660 includes the 1200 pounds so um you have already included it in the fee that you're showing here Yes, ma'am. So I have the discount, and after that, I have twelve six six zero the fees, final fees. Yes. So for uh, one year or this uh, is for two years. This is for two years. Come like with work placement. With work placement. Okay, and if I in case I don't get the fees, so I'm uh, like I'll be paying in installment only. So I mm-hmm. need not to play. I need need not to pay the. You don't pounds. have to pay the placement fee if you're not getting placed. Okay, but with the will the college help in uh, finding placement and uh, absolutely. But and please, and please be aware when you're going that uh, the university will only help 
when you go overseas and study, you're treated as an adult. There will not be, you know, a lot of spoon feeding. You, they, nobody will do your job. You will have to do it yourself. Let's put it that way. But they will guide you as to how that can be done. So you'll have to be really proactive. You'll have to be really good with your networking skills. You'll have to ensure that whatever opportunities the university is informing you about, you participate in those. Uh, so we try to create a lot of networking opportunities because we work very, very closely with a lot of companies and businesses. They also sit on our curriculum development committees and help us with our courses, which is why our courses are very up to date so that our students are more employable when they graduate. Um, we, we, we don't teach redundant curriculum. Uh, so please ensure that you're very, very active when you're choosing a placement course. Otherwise, I would say maybe go for a one year course. You're anyway going to get a two years of stay back. Right. Do not get into that um, hassle of, uh, you know, managing your timeline that way. Right. So the full, there's a full careers advisory service available. Yes. Uh, at the university at one of the largest universities in the UK. So um, they're very well versed with having contacts with employers, databases, helping you with CV writing skills, interview prep skills and the like. That's why I think like uh, many of the Indian students uh, take SHU as the most preferred university in UK. So, so are you looking for September 21 intake? Yes, I have the or, offer. For food, for food nutrition? Okay, wonderful. We'll just connect with you and we can see how... Are you holding unconditional offer? I don't have the details offhand. Uh, yes, I have not given my IDTS yet. Okay, so. okay. Samad, we've first. spoken uh, recently, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, I mean, consider taking the TOEFL special home edition test. Don't delay your process only because of waiting for an ILTS date. Um, the tests have been getting postponed for, for months now. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I would strongly recommend, you know, considering the TOEFL special home edition. Okay. And ma'am, uh, does a uh, medium of instruction work like... Uh, no, 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 we don't accept the MOI. No. You'll have to take the test. Oh. No. Thank you. Ma'am, I had one yeah, question. Uh, I had one question. Uh, like, you that there will be... Yes, ma'am. There will be hassle if we take the placement here. Like, uh, um, we will get that post-study visa after that also, right? Two years. You will get it. But I'll explain how that works, Simani. So... When you're going for a one-year program, you're going to be studying. You know that towards the end of your degree, you have to submit your dissertation. When you go for a placement course, you actually do your dissertation after the placement. So when you're going for a course with placement, but let's say things don't work out and you're not getting a placement, then you'll quickly have to, you know, switch your mind frame and, you know, start working on your dissertation in order to complete your degree in one year. So that's what I'm talking about. If you're okay with that, if you're comfortable with that and you definitely want to uh, go for a work experience route and give it a shot, please uh, choose that as your option. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Actually, I didn't understand. Like, So if we are taking a two-year course, then a degree, some modules will be done in the second year, you are saying? It's, it's not a full two-year taught program, Himani. The taught element of the program is going to remain one year only. Okay, so then my degree will be finished in one year and one year I'll be just be working on the placements. Uh, when you're choosing an optional, so placement is not job, Himani. When you go overseas, the word placement is synonymous to internships there. That's what I'm talking about. So you're going to be working as an intern with a UK-based company. And then after the completion of your internship, you will submit your dissertation. The university will keep in touch with you while you're on your uh, internship as well. Okay. So then after that, so it will not impact my P, uh, the post-study work visa, right? Uh, uh, with I whatever can... information is given by the UKVI, um, lately it ideally should not impact, but they are yet to give more clarity on this. Uh, so as far as we know, the graduate immigration route is available for students who graduate from the summer of 2021 onwards. Yes. Right. So you would be eligible whether you do a one year or a two year master's sure. degree. Sure, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Imani. Thank you, you ma'am.
this is Pratiksha Pujari has left a question. Got 54% in my undergrad in arts. What are my chances to get the get any business course? So Pratiksha, if you're, yeah, could you please unmute yourself? Yeah. Um, what have you been doing since 2018? Could you please tell me a little bit about that? And uh, this BA that you've done, what were your majors and minors, if you can tell me? Pratiksha, would you like to come online? You can unmute yourself. Or you can put it in the chat if you like. Okay, perhaps she's not. Uh, either Maybe leave it in it the or... chat then, uh, Pratiksha, so that yeah. I can I can um, inform otherwise you about our options. To... Yeah, otherwise we'll have to connect with you offline after we can do that also. But we are live now. That's something we can take immediately. Ashi says, are we allowed to do internship yeah. during our course MBA one year program? Um, in a one year program, Ashi, an internship is not included. But having said that, you will definitely have a lot of networking opportunities. There will be career fairs that you would attend. Um, there will be guest lecturers uh, or speakers coming from outside of the university, maybe from the industry. There could be field trips that we take you on. So that kind of an experience will always be given to you. Um, we lay a lot of emphasis on experiential learning and we try to create a lot of hands-on practical experiences for you. But uh, there will not be like a long internship as a part of the one-year program. It's anyway a very short duration and a very intensive degree that you're going to be opting for. Right, you can type it in the chat. Right, so you have a lot of questions. I mean, sorry, students who have not asked questions. Is anyone else uh, who has not posted it or it's been answered? Um, Harpreet Kaur. Uh, if you want, you can, I, you can come online if you like. I'm just going to try and unmute you. Uh, if not, we move on to the next. Hi, Harpreet. Hi. Go ahead. Do you have any questions for us, Harpreet? You can ask me, you can ask um, the combined company. We're all here to answer your queries. All right. Perhaps not got any query, that's fine. I'm just gonna mute you. Uh, let's move on to, we just answered Rahul and Mahesh, we answered. Um, Raghupati. Natarajan, any particular query? I'm going to look at your registration. Raghupati, anything? If you want, you can come online. Raghupati Pratiksha, Natarajan. you may be connect with Harshali after this, but um, if you have a, a couple of years of work experience, um, then uh, though you're not meeting our entry requirements directly, we could still give a shot for a couple of courses. So maybe connect with Harshali after this and Harshali, then you can discuss a profile with me later. Okay. Sure, sure. sure, no problem. I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, Raghupati, I'm not coming online. We can connect Raghupati later if you have uh, any query. And uh, so uh, Subahan, Tala Marla. Subahan Tala Marla. If you have any query, we will then close after your query. I'm just seeing what you had put in. I'll have to find your query off offhand. If you want, you can come online right now. Right, she's not coming online. I think that's fine. I think uh, it's um, okay. Harpreet, Hi. come back Can on. I get to know about scholarships. Okay. Um, so Harpreet, there is an automatic discount of discount of three thousand pounds for postgraduate students. I don't know if you're um, if you're talking about an undergraduate degree or a postgraduate degree, but if you're looking at a postgraduate degree. Um, and if you get made an offer for a taught post postgraduate program, okay, PG. So you will get a, an automatic discount of 3,000 pounds, which is called our Vice Chancellor's Award. 
Um, how much did you score in your undergrad? Can you leave that in the chat box so that I can tell you about um, one more scholarship? 9.34, fantastic. So then if you are uh, planning for our January intake, you can also apply for our Transform Together Scholarship. The deadline for January should be sometime in November. And if you get that scholarship, it's a meritorious competitive scholarship that you need to file an application for, and you should have an unconditional offer in order to apply for that. If you get that scholarship, you'll get a 50% discount on your tuition fee called the Transform Together Scholarship. Yeah. Thank you, Harpreet. Ma'am, may I ask a question? Yeah, Samarth, please go ahead. Uh, Ma'am, the students who have filled the Transform Together Scholarship, like mm -hmm. they have given the essay for the September yeah. 2021 intake. Mm -hmm. So when will the results uh, be out? So the deadline the was 31st of May, Samarth. And yes, yes. Uh, after the deadline, we start with the reviewing process. It takes us about four weeks to, you know, go through all the applications that we've received. So it's only after maybe first week of July that the team gets back to you. So please wait for a few more weeks. Yes, yes. And uh, how many number of students uh, do they get the transform together scholarship? There is no fixed number because it's open to all international students coming from across the globe. Uh, so that's why we like to receive all the applications and then we assess them. And it's a separate team altogether. And uh, they do not really publish those statistics but they get hundreds and hundreds of applications, maybe yes. more. Yeah. Like because everyone will be uh, good only and like I was not understanding how the how does the university do the evaluation of students? Yeah, so they will pick out the best uh, possible from uh, all kinds of categories. Okay, okay, yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Ashi Savan, do I have to give IELTS if I've scored 72% in English and on 12th standard? She's keen for MBA one year. Ashi, is this uh, a CBSC board that we're talking about? If this is CBSC, uh, then for a one year program, we may be able to give you an offer. Uh, but for a one year program with work experience, ISC. Okay, so um, I think there is a possibility of a waiver, but that would really depend upon the entire application pack as well. So once you apply, we'll only be able to tell you then. Right, so just send us your documents uh, to our email. I'm just putting it in your query. Uh, Ashi has already applied, Rabbi. Uh, okay. She has made an application for MBA, Ashi yeah. Savan. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, I can for see her that. only, I was asking for the campus. Okay, because, that's right. right. Yeah. I can yeah. see the applied list. All right. Yeah. Great. She's already applied for MBA. She's waiting for offer. So then, Harshali, maybe uh, leave her SHU ID. Um, maybe send it to me on WhatsApp, and I will check and get back to you if she's eligible for a waiver or not. Sure, sure. I will send you. Uh, I'll also tell this. you the status of the application. Yeah, sure. I will send you the student ID. Sure. Thank you. Um, someone is asking Harpreet. Harpreet is GMAT GRE compulsory? No, that's not required. GMAT or GRE is not needed. Okay, that's in the chat. I'm just going to answer Ash, Ashi. My, Mahesh, have you got this question answered? I paid the initial fee um, for half of the year, one fee of 3000 GBP, and now can I pay the remaining fee of 3000 after two to three months or not so guiding the financial issues? Um, Mahesh, maybe drop an email to Harshali and Harshali, you send it to me. I'll send you a link that it helps you uh, or tells you how to calculate your fee. Uh, so we need 3000 pounds to release your CAS. Once that is done, you need to pay 50% of your tuition fee before the enrollment, which should be ideally after you get your visa, maybe in the month of August, early September. And uh, then the last installment is uh, gonna be, should, should be paid in February. And uh, we do have a link that explains all of it. If you right. want it, um, you can send an email to me and I'll share it with you. Sure. So Mahesh, just send us the documents uh, with your offer letter. We'll just look up your exact condition, which I mentioned. 
thank you ashi we are happy to help any yeah wonderful any final questions uh, just finishing up on the hour so good timing uh, ragupati natarajan anik roy anik can you query you have raised your hand go ahead hello sir uh, yeah. am i audible yeah go ahead uh, i'm extremely sorry if my audio if my video is not um, proper that's I, okay we, 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 we can gladly put you on video would you like to be uh, okay. we can if you want otherwise we can hear you well that's fine okay, okay. so uh, i wanted to go straight up straight ahead and ask my question please yes um, so i have received an unconditional offer letter from sheffield hallam right and i'm in the middle of arranging my funds for the first deposit so i just wanted to ask when is the last date of submission last date for payment you mean An anik yes uh, we we've, we've not finalized on a last date because of you know the lockdown etc but we should ideally have one in the month of july Okay, so, so and uh, what course do you have an unconditional offer for? Um, it's a master's in psychology. MSc psychology. Yes. Okay, so I mean, share your documents with uh, the combined company, and uh, they will be able to guide you with the whole visa process as well, and they'll check they'll check your funds and let you know where you should pay from. Um, but uh, if you've already sent us an acceptance for your unconditional offer. uh then you can take about 2 to 3 more weeks to arrange your funds that's all right okay i have accepted the offer so it's easier for me so thank you so much uh, i mean thank you anik extremely valuable thank you yeah thank you have a good day yeah thank you any final questions subhan talamarla samarth patel raghupati natarajan Uh, you have not asked anything if you feel it's already been answered that's fine otherwise we can connect uh, offline later also all right so i think on that on those final uh, any closing comments rasham i think you mentioned uh, there is an automatic scholarship if you just remind me was it 3000 or for yes 4, it's a 3000 pound scholarship for all of you students who are planning to apply for a post graduate program and if you have an Hello? indian passport which i am assuming all of you do yes Hello? pratiksha uh sorry ma'am uh, good to hear your voice yes uh, two years old daughter i have so <laughs> i can't yeah, uh, so uh, i complete my graduation in 2018 Okay. Uh, normal degree, ba Bachelor of Arts. Uh, my major was political science. Right. So now I, I wanted to do my, um, post graduation in any business related course. So, okay. but my num, uh, my grades was not that good. It's a fifty four. And what have you been doing since twenty eighteen, Pratiksha? Oh, uh, I'm preparing for my IL I IELTS exam. yeah uh, i'm i'm just mother i'm not working anyway okay so you you've not been working all yeah. right so there is um, i would say if you write a very very strong statement of purpose i mean you can take a chance though you're not meeting our entry requirements but uh, let's just see let's see if you file a really good quality a strong application if we can consider you uh one course that i would recommend for you is ma public relations if that is of interest to you but if you're looking for something which is purely business uh, business related then um, then you can consider our uh, msc international business and marketing and our global mba okay so my, with this grades can i i mean can i apply just going to be a try honestly pratiksha but yes please file a strong application and we'll see if we can accommodate you okay okay thank you so sometimes when you're not meeting your ng requirements directly but we see potential in the whole application we mm -hmm. send it to the course leaders and then they take the final call so if they like the entire profile the quality of the application they may just make you an offer uh mm -hmm. so the process will take slightly longer about 4 to 5 to 6 weeks so file an application as soon as you can 
Okay. And your documents to the combined company today itself so that they can tell you whatever's pending and you can start working on the pending documents. Okay, sure, ma'am. Thank you. So, Bahan, you're saying I'm hearing, sir, but I have a little trouble here. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the chat box as well, Subahan, and we'll be happy to answer them. Okay, then we'll wait for, yes, thank you. So are you sending a question now? We can connect with him later if he's having, okay, I don't think he's going to anything here. I think he's just hearing the conversations okay. and, getting, and getting the information. So I think on that, we'll uh, just close with our, any final comments you were mentioning on the scholarships and till when they are open and any course closures. Um, any yeah, and one very, very time. important information for all of you all who are planning to target the September intake. We are soon going to be closing our application. We've, we are swamped with them already. So we'll go on accepting them definitely for the next two to three weeks. But I think um, before June ends, we should also stop accepting any more applications. That's in the pipeline. We are still deciding the date. But this is just an information I would like to share with all of you. So please file an application as soon as possible if you want to, you know, if you if you want to be considered for the September intake. For January, we still have a lot of time. Right, right. And I've put it in the chat uh, and anyone who's holding offers just to make sure, please send us your documents and, and uh, your offer letter. It's info at combinedco.com and we'll be in touch with you. And uh, as far as we know, the UK is going back to in-person courses um, and it already has by end of May. So fingers crossed everything should be fine for the September intake also. Yes. In the meantime, all of you stay safe, take good care of yourself and um, keep checking our COVID page maybe every two weeks for any updates. Right. And hopefully we should have an on-campus start. Right. Right. At this stage, I think if you haven't applied, send us your documents. If you have holding offers, just, just, just resend your offer letter to us so that we can just cross-check with the deposit conditions, if any, and then take it forward. Thank you for your time, Risham, and thank you, everyone. Thank um, you so much, Mr. Been, Ranveer, Harshali, everyone. Wonderful. We've been having some students come on and off. I, I'm not sure how that happened, but I think it, in the end, it worked out all right. No problem. And if you yeah. receive any questions, any queries yeah. after this as well, I'll be happy to help. Um, I mean, Harshali has my number. She can always connect with me. Sure, sure. Yeah, definitely. And 